I'm Eden, and this is my Chihuahua Bonita, and you're watching Day by Day. Enjoy the vlog. Good morning, day fam. Happy Tuesday. It is so late, it is two o'clock, and we are just now starting our video. Just now starting the video. I've been staying up super late trying to edit video and then sleeping in. So this morning I got up at 8.30. The girls got up just a few minutes before me. No! We, we um, got up at like 9 o'clock and then we went in mom's room and then we watched videos for like literally all of 9 o'clock. Yeah, so I try and tell them the thing that we should have done, and Gabby's like, no, I'm telling them what we actually ended up doing. Well, I forgot about that. We did, we got up, I woke up at 8.30. I uh, uh, did some comments, and then the girls came into my room, and then no, we- I woke up uh, way before anyone. And then they tricked me into watching videos, right? That's what they like to do, yeah. procrastinate. Anyways, homeschool is done for the day. We just finished. Usually we finish at noon, and we just finished now. And Minecraft Gabby's getting, Sophie's getting ready to do a Minecraft video. Hey, there's a new video up on my channel. I did a bond to one. Check it out on my channel. Sophie's live. I have a little bit more cleaning to do this morning, and then I am going to edit a Gabby's video that she made herself um, a couple of days ago. I still have to edit that. There's always so much work to do. There's homeschool, there's YouTube, there's like a million emails, and comments to do there's so much and then there's the regular cleaning i cleaned up so much yesterday like i spent the whole morning cleaning while the girls were doing their computer stuff i cleaned up so much stuff and then when i woke up this morning my house was a huge mess again our daily jumping adventure with our doors just if you guys don't know we've discovered on instagram the other day that a horse dog is called a dorse Good job, Ruby. Good job, Houdini. Now that I'm older, my body does not respond to sugar the right way. And I know it's a normal aging thing and that before I get sick, I need to cut out sugar. I know that this is the thing. And I have young kids at home. I need to have like so much energy and I want to be able to keep up with them and I don't want myself to ever get sick. So I need to, I need to fight the sugar thing. I need to sugar every day. Yeah. Hello? The problem is if I eat even just a little bit of sugar, I get hooked on it and then I have to eat more. It just feeds off itself. So I have to give up sugar and I've given it up so many times this winter, you guys. So many times I never tell you because I don't want you guys to hold me accountable. But now I'm so serious, like it has to happen because when I eat sugar, I feel really bad and I don't want to feel bad. So I want you guys to hold me accountable. So from yesterday on, I have been giving up, I've been giving up sugar. Doris is gone. What do you think? Now it's up to Gabby to jump it. All right, Gabby, let's see. It's an oxer. Oh my gosh, it's a huge oxer. Oh my gosh, she just jumped that in one go. Here, let me put this over here so I can jump it better. Right, here she comes. This way. No wonder you're so skinny. That's what I should do. I should give up sugar and I should follow Gabby around and jump everything that she jumps all day long. She even does this like at late at night, you guys. Anyway, yeah. So that's my story. I gave up sugar. It's been two days and I'm feeling a little bit rough, but at the same time, I feel better than when I eat sugar. So I know it'll get better. And I've done this before and I've been la I've lasted for like six months. So I needed no, to do it. For, like barely a day because dad brings home sugar yeah as soon as i say okay i'm getting up sugar that's it i say it in my head i swear sam knows and the next day he brings home ice cream which is my favorite thing in the whole entire world i uh, told our barn that i would print off some papers for her 
I was looking at them, reading the papers that she asked me, and it is our very first show schedule. So from what I gather, a lot of people have been asking us, when are you guys gonna show? When does it start? What's the plan? Here's the plan. Um, uh, everybody, there's one, two, three, three show series. They start March 18th, so the first show series starts March 18th, and it's a series of five um, shows, and we're not gonna go to that one. Then there's another one that is um, a series of four shows, and it's in May, and then the other one is in May. So we're gonna pick one of the ones that starts in May. Um, yeah, and we are gonna go to our first show probably May 12th or May 19th. And you know what's really exciting about our show though? What if we meet some of you guys there? Like that would be cool. If we're gonna actually meet some of you guys, that's probably where it's gonna be at a show, right? Um, so yeah, one has four shows and one has three and I don't care whichever one, I'm just gonna tell her to pick one and put us into it. And uh, yeah, so that's happening. We're still getting all of our stuff ready. Another thing is that she asked us last night if we wanted to show with Sabrina. And then we talked about it a little and she's been to the A circuit like lots of times and she's done really well but it because she's spooky with us. And I don't know, I just get nervous about how she would respond to all those sounds and stuff. And my kids are a little nervous riding her and that's not the time to be nervous is in a show. So I think we're not gonna show Sabrina. If we have a new gelding by the time we go on May the 12th or on May the 19th, then um, uh, we will take him. And if we don't, then we'll just show on a school horse. And I think that's okay for our very first show ever. I think Gabby's gonna get bitten by a bug, the show bug, and I think Sophia is gonna too. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys and tell you everything that I know um, about our first show. And I'll keep you guys updated. And of course, I'm gonna show you all along the way how we prepare even more for our show. We have like a few things already ready, but we still have a lot of things to get, but it's exciting. Sam and I just ran out to the grocery store. I swear, sometimes when we're out shopping and some girls, young girls, will like look up and see us and then there's like this spark in their eye and then they stare at us everywhere we go in the store. And that happened today. So if you guys see us and you recognize us, make sure you come over and say hi. I don't want steak. Oh, we went shopping and be in our blog, we babe. bought steak. Sophie doesn't want steak. And it's a crying thing. Is it a crying thing, so? What do you want instead? We bought other stuff for you. Makes me think somebody did not get enough sleep last night. You ready to ride? Yeah. I call you up in the middle of the night. Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling alright. You give me comfort, say just give it some time. By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. This ain't no ordinary love we got going on I pick you up in my 59 Ford We head on down the road until we get bored Just you and me and the sun and the wind If the rain should stop falling we'll head on home again Everybody else can see Tired. She, are you tired? What? She looks tired. All right, kiddo. We're gonna trot around. The next time you get to E, you're gonna canter past me half of the ring. Stretch your feet down and forward. And trot. Good work. 
Sylvie's gonna have an after riding hot chocolate. Don't put too much water in there though. I know, you have to measure with the cup. Is that what it says? So they have no. this little coffee maker in here now and they have <laughs> all this hot chocolate and cups. Is that good? Yeah, because you won't eat it all. When did you guys learn to make coffee? Oh, you press power first. I wanted to tell you guys um, about the brow bands that we showed you in yesterday's video, the lady made a brow band press and she makes dog colors. Anyway, she is doing a sale for the next month for any of our subscribers or anyone at our barn. Um, she is going to do the brow bands for $40, no shipping. $40, no shipping for US buyers and $45 for all other orders just because um, the shipping is kind of crazy to other countries. She also said that she has dog collars that she will do for $30 to US um, people with no shipping and $35 for other people. So that is $10 off her regular prices. So if you're thinking about buying a, a brow band, if you're even just a little bit interested in a brow band or a dog collar, you should check her out because the quality is like, is so nice. And after she introduced us to brow bands, I was looking online to find some other ones just to see what kind of things that they had out there because I'm all about bling. And I never found any as nice as hers. I really like them. I really like the dog collars too. But anyway, it's a $10 off deal for the month, uh, for a month. So if you guys are interested, you should check it out. I'll put her email address right here so that you guys can just email her what you want and you get to pick the color of beads even it's and even the color of leather i think Daddy, i think we got to choose what color of leather all right guys it's time to end today's vlog my dad's gonna do comment of the day comment of the day goes to this girl what who's playing <coughs> minecraft you play minecraft wait can i show you something oh my god now she's gonna show me something what do you want to show me so I built this long bridge. It's over um, water. Yeah, looks cool. Um, and I want it to be like a mystical unicorn meadow. So I put that instead of fencing. You have a unicorn on there? No. Oh. I can't get. So you just have a bunch I of horses. I just have a bunch there. of horses, and I'm working on naming them. Oh, um, that's a lot of horses. How many horses do you have on Minecraft? Uh, a thousand. I don't know, yeah, but I'm, I'm building a stable. I'm building a stable. Comment of the day goes to Weird Dreamers. Weird? Dreamers. Weird. We, we are dreamers. We are dreamers. Dad. How high can Gabby jump? Two feet. Ah, uh, two feet. 
That's it so far, two feet. <laughs> but how high are you jumping now? Uh, two feet? How well, high was well, the jump the other day? Not two feet, it was like 18 inches, Dad. Don't you know your jumps? Guys. Comment down below if your dad is this dumb at horses like my dad is. I hope. Comment down below if your dad is as dumb as what? My dad is with horses. I I I know a lot of, about horses. I just don't know a lot about your jumping. Yeah. Cause it doesn't look so, that high. It's 18 inches. How much is 18 inches? How many feet is 18 inches? Tell me right now. I don't know. So if you jump two feet, how how high is 18 inches? One and a half feet. You see, I'm not <laughs> so dumb after all. Next comment goes to, uh, I hope, oh, goes to CBE. Just three letters. Easy to say. Uh, hope you can gain confidence again. Good luck. Did you gain back your jumping confidence? Yeah. I just didn't feel jump? like jumping that day because I only ate like breakfast. Is it and because no you water, didn't, no food. Is it because you didn't eat? You were scared to jump? Or I wasn't because, scared, I just didn't Or feel like was it because Sabrina stops after the jump? Yeah. No. Or was it because all the other accidents that happened at the barn? What? Usually accidents happen oh, in I didn't. trees. And there was two accidents <laughs> at no, the barn. No, three. The three accidents at the barn? Hillary, Kaylee, and then the girl riding Jasmine fell off. Oh, so then you should have been fine. You had your confidence back. No, I did. That's why I rode Sabrina and not asked. So are you going to be able to jump next time? What? You're going to be able to jump now. Yeah. And not be afraid and just jump. Yeah. Awesome. Anyways, that's it for today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.